spirit. To me, I think it's so symbolic. Yeah. <laughs> and I, Kathy wouldn't have mind. You know, you know, sometimes what we think is important is not what is important. Because at the end of the day, the people who are here still gathered, though the majority have gone, they are here because Kathy meant a lot to them. You know? So the flowers that we live in here, I guess, is a show of appreciation but at the end of the day the life we live and the legacy we live the most important thing oh, yes yeah, our fragrance oh, <laughs> so i want to thank you mr oh, map for, for for celebrating this moment with me i feel so much better that we spoke <laughs> And I know your heart bleeds that you lost a friend and a mother figure. So I hope you all find comfort in the fact that her send off was very dignified. I spent the entire funeral service with everybody here and she was sent off in a very special, dignified and respectful way. And she was worthy of this. So may, may all the all the organizers and everyone who contributed be commended for a job well done. Alright, so thank you so much. <laughs> Alright, thank you. I hope yes. This I hope this reaches everybody who needs to hear. <laughs> All right. Welcome to yours truly, DKC, where we do Tobago travel and daily life. Please like the video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and consider watching the video to the end. You will not want to miss any part of this vlog. <laughs> Welcome back to yours truly DKC. It's me yet again filming another amazing video on the island of Tobago. However, today is somewhat uh, not so a big day for me. It's a day that I would celebrate the life of one of my subscribers. One of my subscribers that I knew personally. One of my subscribers that we share so much in common. But you know, what warms my heart the most is the fact that she supported my YouTube journey. Kathy Wordscape is one of my subscribers. One of my subscribers, and I'm going to show you the receipts now, who looked at every single one of my video and who asked me to post content. Until March 24th, the day of her last response to me. There is this sadness in that I didn't know and that we couldn't have connected on a more personal level before her passing all right but allow me to share with you my memories with kathy woodscape <laughs> hello <laughs> can i interview you for my channel sir my youtube channel i am remembering kathy works and if you want to share a few words, it will be wonderful. <laughs> I am a colleague in the same agri, agri teaching fraternity. And she was one of my YouTube subscribers. Well, for the little time that I've known Kathy. Would you like to introduce yourself first? My name is Ricardo. Okay, so let's... Oh, you just sang. So you are going to... No, read. I is the dad of the guy he's going to read. 
Okay, well I know this soon. No, I heard this one this name. Alright, so anyway, close this is Cutty Keep. Son and Dot um Son and Oh okay, okay, I understand. Oh. Which is nice. Okay. Oh. So I haven't known <laughs> her very long. For long. Okay, good. But for the time that I have known her, she's a very simple, <laughs> well educated, well soft spoken person, person that can bring <laughs> light and love to any situation <laughs> to anybody. I have I've haven't known her no length of time. time. But mm -hmm. for that short space of time. I can, I can say that though, you know, About she's, a very, she's a very nice person. Well, your expressions yeah. of love and appreciation for her will not have gone unnoticed. I could say as well, I have known her for well over 10 years in the teaching fraternity and our experiences, our interactions has always been more than positive. So I am happy that I have this opportunity to share these words with you as we remember her. All right, thank you so much, Mr. Eccles. <laughs> all right. <laughs> and all the best on these celebrations, future celebrations. <laughs> At this funeral service, persons came from far and wide to pay their final respects. Prime guest present with us today is her husband and her two children who closest family members and her in-laws are also here and Kamisha Woods one of my students who is a niece of Miss Kathy so all the cousins all of Kamisha's cousins my condolence to you as well there is also students of the Harmon School of the Seventh Day Adventists, the church community, her colleagues, and many friends and well wishers. For all of it was not taken, it was just the word, and of the dust shall be written. No doubt this something like bad news to them at that time. The exam room in a picture also. I feel the test of time. But those of us, despite of the fact that we have so many bad men, we struggle. God permits us to stay in the exam room of this world and study it out. Until at last, at the age 70 or 80 or 100, we eventually get to the test and are ready to move. The test of time.
Alright, bye bye. Hello, Dad. How are you? Yeah. Hey, hey, how are you going? I could see the. You put me on YouTube. What a sweet name. Put me on YouTube. You want to be on YouTube? Yeah. Well, let me give. Let me give you your move. Yeah. Oh God, look at my mother. It's Kathy's mother. Hi, Kathy, mommy. Well, I'm coming around. I got you, mommy. Condolence. Say, say something about your daughter for me. Eh? Say something about your daughter. Oh, she was a wonderful child. child so right. loving. Yes. And listen, God had a purpose for her because mm -hmm. when she was born, I had to carry her to the hospital, leave her in the hospital for about three days. Ooh. And my step, my adopted mother, also Kathy's adopted mother, uh -huh. used to carry me six o'clock in the morning to give her the Ooh. Every morning. <laughs> well, Kathy's business on the road. <laughs> Give, to give Kathy the tutu at 6 o'clock every morning. morning and she and became in strong. They used to carry me in a car, carry me up in the auto. So, Sometimes I drop asleep on Edwin and Raul. used to wake me up. Come, you have to go and feed Kathy in the auto. Yeah, and in well, the, we are happy in, that you did you, you your mother in role. She was in the, in the, the, um, the, the class thing. What it is. The NICU, the, okay, the like intensive. Mm -hmm, and you every so. morning, that is why. When I married, I leave her forget for them, them rowies. Right. Because when she was a baby, they run up and down to save that little child. Child, wow, wow, to wow. To this age of I today, hope, and I, I give God all glory, praise, but, and honor but let for me bringing tell her you, to this time. Let me tell you, I yeah. started my YouTube channel uh -huh. about three months ago, uh -huh. and Cathy is one of my subscribers. You see what I mean? I have all the messages, uh -huh. 101 messages. Oh, when you're posting a video, I'm missing seeing you, I'm enjoying your vlogs, yes. and I'm doing a video about her. Yes, so yes. I hope you all get to see it. Yes, I hope. All right? Yes. And, so <laughs> and you keep good. Yes. Keep nice. Yes. Okay. Okay. Girl, rest in peace, my darling, my love. Yes, yes. My only sister, let's hear me right. only girl you child sweet like a sugar oh, and a plum, plum, plum. Love, love you, mommy. So love you. Okay, Bye. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so So I'm just leaving the church where the funeral was the funeral service was held and I'm heading across to the graveyard or the cemetery. So while I'm on my way I wanna just share the rest of my reflection and share with you how I met Kathy. All right. Okay. I started. I started teaching in 2004, and uh, Kathy was at the Harmon School of the Seventh Day Adventist. So these two schools we collaborated every year, and the mission was to allow our, our students. Hi. Yeah to allow our students the opportunity to be exposed to the practical component of agriculture. Hey. <laughs> yes. Ooh, there's a lot of traffic here because we are at the cemetery and I'm not sure it seems like parking is a real issue. I can't go in. I can't go in. Oh. Thank you. Kathy and I teach the same subjects. And that subject is agricultural science. So when I started teaching, the school that I was placed in as an agri-teacher, one of the things that I would have recognized was we did not own or we did not have a facility for rearing chickens. Now, 
in agriculture there is both crop science and livestock science and because we did not have chickens on our school and it was a requirement for our CSEC or regional exams regional secondary or high school leaving exams it was mandatory that the students in the fifth form class or that exit year group that they must rear a batch of chickens so in order to get that practical experience we decided to collaborate with another school on the island and collaboration is a 21st century skill so the fact that we were willing to collaborate collaborate with another school was a definite plus for us and for that other school so I was placed at Goodwood Secondary School formerly Goodwood High School at the time when I met Kathy and Kathy was at Harmon School of the Seventh-day Adventist, Adventist so Kathy was at the Harmon School of the Seventh-day Adventist so these two schools we collaborated every year and the mission was to allow our, our students hi, yeah, to allow our students the opportunity to be exposed to the practical component of agriculture cemetery and I'm not sure it seems like parking is a real issue I can't go in can't go in There is something about being in a cemetery. There is a realization that is always with me that the life I enjoy is but for a moment, a valuable moment, a moment I am worthy of because God in his wisdom allowed, is allowing me to enjoy it or to possess it in this moment. So I express these condolences to the family of the, the bereaved, those who would have died in the year 2024, most current, those who have died because of sickness, because of um, crime and violence, of just being in the wrong place at the wrong time. May your family, may you as a family of the bereaved continue to find comfort and support each other as you grieve and as you recover in this difficult time of loss.
me so much. <laughs> Alright, so welcome back to yours truly DKC. It's me yet again. And as I told you and I've been sharing with you for the past 20 minutes or so, we are really celebrating the life of a very special woman who contributed a lot to the life of the people in Tobago, especially the youth, as she was a very important education figure, right? And uh, she contributed in her communities, in every community she found herself in. And today, she, I am privileged to have with me Mr. Mapp, who I would have known in the capacity as a principal, as Kathy's principal. <laughs> Right? So Kathy Kathy taught <laughs> Kathy taught at the school at which he was the principal principal. Are you still the principal? Vice principal, right? You are the vice principal now. Okay. So just a little backstory before I allow Mr. Map to speak. Um I teach at Goodwood Secondary School, Tobago, which is in the east of Tobago. And Mr. Map and Kathy taught at Harmon School of the Seventh Day Adventist, yes. which is in the west. west. Am I correct? It's kind of central more, more west. west. More west, more west. Yes, right. right. Kind of west. west is right. Yes. yes. I'm gonna put a map <laughs> to show you the dif the distance between these two schools. But one of the things as as schools we are proud of in Tobago is that an opportunity presented itself for us to collaborate and. Goodwood Secondary School, along with Harmon School of the Seventh-day Adventists, would have collaborated to ensure that our students were able to benefit from the practical experience. I remember Mr. Mapp saying to me that he was also glad that while our students were benefiting from the practical experience, he was glad that his students were benefiting from collaborating with other youths who were on the same mission of education and I should say agriculture education. Yeah. So I would like Mr. Mapp to speak uh, from a principal perspective, vice principal perspective, colleague of Kathy, as we celebrate her life and share the things we want to be said so that when it's all done, there's nothing we would have kept in that we wanted to get out. <laughs> And this is part of how we heal from this loss. <laughs> well, hi DKC and hi to your viewers and your subscribers. I was indeed Kathy's principal and then Kathy's vice principal. And uh, uh, it, this is a sad moment. This is a sad moment. We're using the word celebration, but it's a very sad moment. The sun is setting in the in the western and we are really laying to rest to rest someone who is really really beautiful someone who mm -hmm. just 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 precious and her sunshine personality goodness <laughs> her one her wonderful um persona mm -hmm. was just a a, a gem a, a fragrance a, a beautiful um, precious unspeakable kind of um, um aura she was just beautiful um I'm this, endorsing this, everything yeah, you this, said this, 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 this is sad it's sad for me yes i i took in the the burial but i couldn't even sing because it was it's was, it's sad mm -hmm. i sat in the church and i cried because it is sad and it's mm -hmm. sad because it's sad because we're losing someone, a beautiful soul. It's sad because the the ability that she had to to bless others and to be kind and caring, um, we we're losing that. And it's really hope that we could really do something special in her honor and, and in her memory because she she she's precious. She was precious. precious. She was precious. And, even the, even, the, even the experience <laughs> with Goodwood High School, mm -hmm. a lot of it has to do with um, Kathy's heart and yes. Kathy's bigness of heart to yes. say, hey, you all have a need, let's do this. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> it was more than Kathy being a good teacher. It was yeah. Kathy caring enough. Mm -hmm. There are many times, even from a professional level, yeah. she shared shared so much information. If I call, I said, I don't think we want to come by you all. They said, we might go to a different. She said, you know, you all are all 
always invited. Yeah. So do what you all think is best, yeah. but you all can come, yeah, no problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah, yeah, it yeah. was really an amazing yeah. effort. So mm. I really I really think Common School of the SD is losing yeah, yeah. has lost. Yeah, we've lost, we've lost. Has lost yeah, because yeah. I could say in all humility, Kati, I felt she was a better teacher than I was. And I learned from her. And I don't think I ever met her standard even. Okay, yeah. So I have a <laughs> lot of work to do. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think yeah, yeah. I think um one of the mm. things with Kathy is that she benefited from networking with amazing agri teachers yeah. who are now yeah. our moderators, but, Mr. Richardson yeah, yeah, Mr. and Mr. Wood. Yeah, true, true, true. That's and true. Uh, that that collaboration or that network mm -hmm. with those two individuals mm -hmm. led to her Who being an amazing party. teacher. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah. So I think I need to tap into what Miss Cathy tap into <laughs> before it's too late for me. <laughs> but I think you, you, you're more than able. You're good. You're yes, good. I am. I am. Yeah, I am. But we have to give Cathy her credit. Right, I, I hear you, she right. deserves it. I hear okay. You, and, I, and I agree. I fully agree. I fully agree. Yes. She, she's a. She's a. She has. She had a heart for agriculture. Yes. And 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 even she did. She and went, fashion. Yeah, and fashion. Yeah. <laughs> Kathy is always yeah. dressed. Her hair is always lit, okay. and she loves plenty hair. <laughs> I, th I, th I think she identified what true beauty was. Right. You know, sometimes we we miss we miss misinterpret and misvalue things. Uh huh. And we and we think that this is important when in fact this is important but, mm -hmm. she saw what was of most value yes and what is of most value was the the, 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 the plants that we take for granted okay. the seeds that we need to be yes. planted and, and the, the future and the, the, and the children future. yeah the yes. children who needed to be to have good seed implanted in them yes so she saw what was valuable and, and the things that we um, disregard like beauty right she, she saw she saw that and she she made that precious and 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 I I engage in for us. Yes. So that we could be blessed because of what she she did. Yeah. Just to make our lives better. So yes. precious, precious soul. Um sometimes yeah. I think one, one thing I've I've learned recently is that mm -hmm. motherhood is perhaps the most precious profession there ever could be. Motherhood right. and mothering and and there, there was no, there was no fanfare here today. There was no I do, state, I agree state with funeral that. here today. There was no. Um, I agree. Mm -hmm. there, there was no um, protocol list here today, but this kind of lady deserved all of that, and she yes. deserved that kind of um, appreciation. Sometimes we don't really value mothers as we ought to, mm -hmm. but mothers are really the best profession, yeah. and they should really be valued as they ought to be valued. Yes. And Kathy was a mother extraordinary, yeah. a beautiful person, and. Um, Happy to be to have this opportunity. See, yes. To have it on record that yes. she was beautiful. Really, really <laughs> yes. precious, really, really and precious. you know, as you said, there wasn't a big fanfare here. No. And I'm telling you, and this is not to make anybody feel bad. Yeah. That were placed on her grave. Mm -hmm. And let us show. Three, three, three. Three. This is it here. And to me, I think it's so symbolic. Yeah. <laughs> and I, Kathy wouldn't have mind. You know, you know. Sometimes what we think is important yeah. is not what is important. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because at the end of the day, the people who are here still gathered, though the majority have gone, mm -hmm. they are here because Kathy meant a lot Matter, to that, them. That, that you know. Yeah, yeah. So the flowers that we live in here, mm -hmm. I guess, was, is a show of appreciation but at the end of the day the life we live oh. and the legacy we, we live is the most important thing our, our fragrance yes our fragrance <laughs> our <beauty. laughs> so i want to thank you mr right. map for welcome. for, welcome. for celebrating this moment with me i feel so much better oh. that we spoke <laughs> <laughs>
mother figure. So I hope you all find comfort in the fact that her send off was very dignified. I spent the entire funeral service with everybody here and she was sent off in a very special, dignified and respectful way. And she was worthy of this. So may, may all the all the organizers and everyone who contributed be commended for a job well done. Alright, so thank you so much. <laughs> Alright, thank you. I hope yes. This I hope this reaches everybody who needs to hear. <laughs> I appreciate you. Thank you for watching at the video to this point. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you for always coming back to show your love on my channel. And if you are new to this YouTube channel, please consider subscribing and come back. You are welcome. You are always invited here. Come back and make a mark on this channel by contributing to the growth of a Tobago YouTuber. All the best, much love from Trinidad and Tobago. Okay, bye bye. Peace. All the best. So Kathy was kind. Kathy was an agricultural enthusiast. Kathy was a trusted friend. Kathy was a hero in her own right. A hero in the classroom and a hero in the communities in which she served. And why? Kathy, Kathy was young at heart. And she was here, was here yesterday, and she would always be in our memory. So words, Kati was a woman. She was outstanding and outspoken. And she was dedicated to her students. Kathy was caring, courageous, and courteous. 
she was always willing to e assist. P. Her preparation for everything she did was outstanding. E. She is an exemplar to educators in Tobago and therefore her legacy lives on. This was Kathy Woods Keep. A beloved wife, mother, sister, friend, teacher, and community leader.